Hey everybody, Will 13 back with more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. And we're gonna start our first real area, or I guess movie. I like to call them movies, because they have like movie titles. So, The Black Chateau. And this is where we're gonna get into playing as uh, the rest of the team. Cutscene time. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in the Black Chateau. Yep, now we're actually in Paris for the first mission, which I thought was pretty cool. Sorry, just munching on a Cheeto. I don't really think you can hear that though. Yep, there's bottles. Enter the safe house. Let's play as Sly. And we immediately come up here. Nice. I tell you, Bentley, it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocular. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Yes, but the first thing we have to do is we have to go around and get bottles, baby. So, we're going to be using R1 to run around a little bit more. If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your thief mask. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember... The view is always better from the rooftops. Alright, so now that we got those, we're gonna hop down here. And now there's guards patrolling, but you uh, you want to avoid all guards at this point, not just the ones with flashlights, because, um... Um, if one guard sees you, there's a good chance of other guards showing up, and that's something we want to avoid. I believe... yep, there's one right here. Five out of thirty. That's not bad. We're gonna hop right over here. Get this one. Go up here. Over here. Aw. Uh run this way. There should be one. No? Alright. Uh we're gonna save that one that's over there for later. Because that doesn't fit in with my plan. I have like a certain way of going around and getting these that's easier to remember for me. Just for me. You don't have to follow me exactly. But I will show you where all the bottles are, so. And what's nice for me is that I have a Turtle Beach headset. So I can hear bottles. Like, it's weird, but I think there's one up here. Yep. Uh, I can hear where like the clinking is coming from. There's. Yep. I knew there was some down here. Right, 
believe. Not that way, then this way. Is there one underneath here? What do I feel like? I know there's one up on the rooftop. Strange. Uh, yeah, one right here. Uh, bottles don't feel as important in this game. Uh, I'm going off of mostly memory here. I've beaten this game once or twice. Uh, I think twice before. Um, oh, crap. Oh, here we have pickpocketing. You can sneak up behind guards and hit... Oh, man, there's another guard coming up there. You can hit circle to pull, uh, like, treasures and stuff out of their pocket. Let's see how they... Yeah, they're splitting up. So we can... When they have, like, that glow around their pocket, you can pull out, like, treasures. That right there, you saw we got the bronze comb. And that was a stealth takedown. Stealth takedowns can be done by, um... Pressing the triangle button when you're behind an enemy. And then hitting, um... Square while they're in the air. And you'll slam them down and, and take them out. I thought there was one in the middle of there. I guess not. Clearly not. Alright, let's go up here. This is These are going to be like semi-boring, but I know this is what a lot of people look for when they see a Sly Let's Play. They want to see bottle locations. So... I'll give you bottle locations. These have about, usually, three coins apiece. That one had like five. Uh, is there one on the edge around here? I feel like there is, but clearly not. I just don't want to miss anything and have to come back for it, you know? Alright, uh... Let's hop up here. Smash this. There's a bottle hidden right behind here, I think. Is there? No, there's not. Alright, and then we want to jump over here. What's cool is that whatever direction Sly was facing when you jump off, like, he really won't turn that much midair. Which fits more into, like, the stealthiness, I feel, at least. Still, he's he's really cool. Still awesome, still gets around awesome. And we, we still only played as Sly, but you will be, uh, be playing as uh, Murray and Bentley during certain portions of the game. Uh, I just gotta look around and make sure that I didn't miss any bottles, because I don't want to have to come back for anything. Right there. Smack! Alright, let's hop up here. Should be able to... Can't climb that? Whatever. We can just jump straight up here. And we're gonna run across here. Mm, something smells like cooking onions in my house. I like that smell. And we're gonna go right there. There's one down here in the bushes. We'll jump down there and get that right away. Considering we should be able to do that. Jump right up. You could still use the old... Oh, uh, That's right, you can't use the old uh, jump and land trick as much. But that's not important because there are no thief sprints in this game. Absolutely none. Which I always liked. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but I like... I like the sense of accomplishment I get from finishing a thief sprint, but I don't miss them, per se. You know? Like, I don't need them around. Uh, let's go this way. You'll notice Sly was facing back that entire time. So let's jump across here and get that. Oh boy. You want to be careful where you land. Because you don't want to have to worry about like guards coming and attacking you. That's the safe house. So we're gonna jump up here. Don't jump over here. All right. I just had to make sure that the bottle I was hearing was coming from where I thought it was. Uh, we should be able to do a mission after getting all these bottles. At least I hope we will. Oh, alright, there's one. 
You can still land in midair, but it's trickier. So let's jump on this table, hit this awning, go over here. Ah, there's one right here. No! This is what I was dreading. I have a feeling of the location of where the one I missed is. So... Let's just hope my inkling is right. Please let it be around here somewhere. Friggin' newspaper. Oh, this is the worst feeling. Oh, oh thank god. There it is. I see it. I see it, everybody. There it is. Right there. Get owned! And that's convenient, because it put us in the right area. Thanks, Bentley. Mission time. I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, Tasty you'll chip. need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm We've on We've done this before. Uh, climbing those pipes was completely unnecessary, but it made me feel cool. So, I projected holographic markers near interactive objects like the satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the op. Great, the first one's in position. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your leaf mask imager. Remember. Click the L3 button to locate your next objective. Alright. So yeah, you press circle when you're near things that have the little sly face emblem. And then you get to, uh, interact with them. Okay, only one more to go. Activate your thief mask imager by pressing the L3 button to find the last dish waypoint. Remember, the view is always better from a roof. Yeah, you see, there's the waypoint right there, that little circle. Why you can hold down the R1 button while walking to break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. Yeah. Mm. Crunchy chips. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Alright. Ah, so in this episode, we got all of the bottles in Dimitri's area. And completed the first mission. So, in the next part, we're going to be right back. I like that. We'll be right back. That's nice. It's a good pause screen for the end of the video. Um, we're going to take down Sly's second mission in Dimitri's area. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.